Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyNote2.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of Frosty Jelly Bean ROM. Um, this is one of my favorite ROMs for the T-Mobile Galaxy S3. Now it's available for your T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. This is built off the latest uh, LTE firmware, um, so you will get LTE just fine. Frosty Jelly Bean version 8 I've got here. And also I've installed a Perseus kernel so I can get some overclocking. Working fabulous, uh, pretty good combo and uh, I've got it overclocked to uh, 1.8 gigahertz and uh, this um, this ROM is pretty stock like yet uh, you get uh, some good battery tweaks, speed tweaks and uh, RAM tweaks um, to make your experience much faster than stock and also there's long press uh, volume skip um, to track uh, to skip your tracks uh, while the phone is off. I do recommend setting it at 1.8 and also you can mess with the uh, the voltages. You can start under volting a little bit um, until you f find a right combo. Then you will be able to get uh, even longer battery life. Very nice. And also it does have call recording for those of you who need it. And there we go. And you'll be able to easily uh, reco record phone calls. There we go. There we go. Um, very nice, very nice uh, ROM here, and also you do have um, mobile hotspot native uh, working just fine here. Um, and also, if you have any problems with this one, you can try the Trev E method I posted on my uh, site, HighOnAndroid.com. I'll have a link to that just in case uh, you guys can't get the tether working correctly. Um, also, using Sony Bravia Engine 2 um, for better photos and videos and uh, what else is there? There's supposed to be some Easter eggs in this um, in this ROM so go ahead and see if you can find those Easter eggs and also of course it does come with uh, some wallpapers and also with uh, uh, these are frosty jelly bean wallpapers here uh, pretty nice here and let me show you settings here uh, lock screen Lock screen options, uh, ripple effect. If you need the ink effect, you can do it here. Oops. And also, you do have an option for AOSP lock screen. Um, you'll be able to show the weather with that one. Also, information ticker if you want. Uh, it's, it'll show up eventually. Uh, but very nice ROM. I like it. It's a very stock um, like with added features. So it's not for everybody. And also multi-window enable for all apps. Um, after installing ROMs, uh, installing a new app, you simply have to reboot to make it show up on the left side there. And uh, it should be all good to go. Uh, but very nice ROM. And I'm looking forward to future versions of uh, Frosty Jelly Bean. Um, because this is one of my favorite ROMs uh, with the Galaxy S3 and also the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. Just more options for you, but very solid ROM. For those of you just starting out with custom ROMs, definitely give this one a try. You will pretty much like it way, uh, way more over uh, the stock ROM, way better. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And try it out and do let me know what you think. And if you have a Note 2, any of the Note 2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week with Ramalui Louis tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.